today I'm going to make chicken chili. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll put a list of ingredients and a brief recipe. Uh, if you're looking for that, it'll be at the end. First step is to cook the chicken so you can shred it. However you want to cook your chicken is fine. All right, let's get our chili going. Uh, first, I got the chicken cooked. Uh, so it's just off to the side. We're gonna start next with some bacon. So let's just get this sliced up here. Okay. Bacon is just gonna go into a frying pan. We're gonna start getting this cooked up and get it a little crispy. Then we're going to chop our onion and our jalapeno, throw them into the frying pan and get the onion cooked until it's soft. Get the jalapeno cooked up too. Get them cooked up with the bacon. All right, let's get our jalapeno and our onion chopped up. All right, just add these to the bacon over here after it cooks up a little bit. Cook these onions until they're a little bit translucent and soft. All right, our bacon and our onions are done. Uh, really nice, got some nice crispy caramelized pieces in there. Onions all cooked so it's soft translucent. So this is going to go into the pot with our chicken. And then we're going to start assembling the rest of our chili in this pot. Okay, our chicken, our bacon, our onion, our jalapeno. Next we're going to add our diced tomatoes. Next we're going to add two cups of chicken broth. Okay, get this over kind of a medium heat. We just want to bring this up to boil. While we're waiting for this to heat up uh, and get back up to boiling, let's add our spices. So, first up, we're going to throw in some chili powder. One tablespoon of chili powder. Some cumin. About a tablespoon of cumin. And some garlic powder. About a half a tablespoon, three quarters tablespoon of garlic powder. I'm going to throw in just a few red pepper flakes to heat it up a little bit. Alright, our chili is back up to boiling. So now we're just going to turn the heat down to uh, just kind of a low or medium low so it's simmering. We're just going to let it simmer for 15, 20, 30 minutes or however long you need to let it set until you're ready to eat. So last thing, and this is completely optional, is cream cheese. Uh, this just makes your chili a little richer and it's really good. Let's cut it up in some little chunks so it will kind of melt faster. Just leave this simmering on a low heat. 
throw in that cream cheese. We're just gonna stir it in, leave it on a low heat, just kind of let it melt in.